What in the f Hey guys, so I'm going with another reaction. This is top 10 dumb reasons why teachers were fired. So let's just get into it. Teachers are just like us. They go to grocery stores like us, and they even get fired from jobs like us. Sometimes it's because the schools they work for are stupid, and other times it's because the teachers themselves do something incredibly dumb. From twerking for a Birkin to assembling a drug ring, these are 10 teachers who lost their job for stupid reasons. Porn Star in early 2016, the University of Manchester in England found out that one of its professors had some interesting extracurricular activities. After a very stressful divorce 10 years ago, engineering professor Nicholas Goddard decided to take up a second job as a porn star. The Oxford-educated Goddard had been a chemical engineering teacher for nearly 25 years, but when the University of Manchester found out, they suspended him while they investigated the issue. Goddard is over 60 years old and has starred in dozens of films with girls 40 years younger. The university is still investigating the situation as of late 2016. Twerking this teacher puts a whole new meaning behind hot for teacher. While on vacation in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, Carla, an elementary school teacher, competed in a dance competition. A bikini-clad Carla had all the right moves and won the $260 prize. A video of her provocative dancing and twerking soon hit the internet. The video went viral for obvious reasons, and when Carla returned to work in a small Mexican town, her superiors forced her to resign. Six students. That's. I don't know. I mean, it's like. It's very weird. And. Some teachers take the well-being of their students seriously, but not many would take them to the hospital and pay for it. That's exactly what high school teacher Jennifer Mitz did not once, but twice. One student was feeling very ill and didn't have any health insurance, so Mitz drove her to the ER and paid for her medical expenses. A year earlier, the teacher drove a 17-year-old girl who was pregnant, running a fever, and had pneumonia to the ER, and the student later credited Mitz for saving her and her baby's lives. The school forced Mitz to resign and claimed she was a liability issue. Facebook Rant after her first day on the job, daycare teacher Caitlin Walls shared a little bit too much on her Facebook wall. Walls posted that she started her new job, but she hates working at daycares and doesn't like being around a lot of kids. This would be okay if her posts were private, but Walls made this a public outcry, and soon her new employer found out. The single mother of one said that she loves children and that she was just venting, but the damage was done and the daycare told her not to come to work anymore. Prescription Drugs Sometimes teachers need second jobs to help supplement their incomes, and usually this isn't a problem with their schools. Then there are teachers like Meredith Pruitt who like to knock two birds with one stone by bringing her second job to school with her. Forest View High School in North Carolina received an anonymous tip that one of its teachers was running a prescription drug ring right under their noses. Pruitt was found to be the culprit and had a 15-year-old student pushing the prescription drugs for her. Pruitt faces multiple drug charges and of course lost her job feels good to be valued what? The schools in Ohio take their students' education very seriously, and when one part-time tutor made a horrible essay topic suggestion, he had to pay the price. One student was having a hard time deciding what to write for his English essay when the tutor suggested they write about how to kill a teacher. What could... You could probably argue that it's not like he's telling him to actually kill somebody, but what in the... I've seen my fair share of essay topics and some of them have been a little dumb but I feel like this guy was like you know he was teaching his class he was like you know like this kid's like I don't know what to write about and he's like well you know there's a lot of things that you know you could be that could be written about you know um 
You could write about how why it's important to go to school. You could write about well, why is it important to get a job. You could write about what's the best thing about you. You could write an essay about interesting facts about yourself. But no, 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 no. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go by my tactics, and I'm gonna force you to write an essay about how to literally kill a teacher. Just, it's just, just stab them three times. I understand that people have their own crazy mindsets, but come on. What could be wrong with that? Well, the student's essay planned out poisoning and choking teachers with a mouse, and even said, when I do this, if I do, which raised some red flags. The school dismissed the student, saying he was following the instructions from the tutor, and the tutor was given the sack for his lapse in judgment. Twitter trouble. Man, with a kid like that who actually decides, you know what, screw I'm gonna write about that, write about, you know, I, I think it was poison and I'll put a rat in your throat. Maybe he should just be sent to prison because I'm not having that, seriously. Social media seems to keep getting teachers in trouble, but this might just be the stupidest tweet by a teacher ever. This high school math teacher, Carly McKinney, also known as Carly Crunk Bear, was famous on Twitter for her scantily clad photos. It seemed that she pushed her luck even further by posting a picture to her Twitter of her smoking weed in her school staff parking lot. After the school saw her scandalous posts, she was quickly terminated. McKinney told local news sources that her Twitter account was set up as a joke and that the pictures and comments aren't a reflection of her. Pre Guys, can we please... God damn it. You know, I, I am straight edge. I'm like CM Punk. I don't do drugs, man. I mean, I, don't, I think I've expressed this before in a video. I don't really know, but you know, there's one thing in life that pisses me off. It's how like everywhere that I go, at least, I cannot go to a damn place without smelling one ounce of weed. Like I, like I go, to, it doesn't matter if I go to the park or if I go to like a friend's house or if I'm just walking down a normal block. Like I smell weed all the time. Like I don't do drugs. Drugs are retarded. They're dumb. It doesn't matter if it's legal or or illegal. It it happened anyways. Like this is gonna cause even more people to to get more into drugs. Like we don't need more of that. We don't need we don't need any more people doing drugs. We don't need this. The people just don't understand that it's bad. Like like after after they take the first puff or two, they're like, oh yeah, it's pretty, you know. I mean yeah, you're not gonna feel any effects, but in the long run, you'll see what I mean. Marital sex. Being a teacher at a religious school comes with certain responsibilities. Most teachers have to sign lifestyle contracts where they agree not to engage in less than holy activities. Though teacher Terry James says she did sign one of these contracts stating she couldn't engage in premarital sex that didn't stop her from getting pregnant by her fiancé. When the school found out about her pregnancy, what? they fired James for having premarital sex and, in a weird twist, offered the job to her then fiancé. Putting out fire. Anything can happen in a classroom or a daycare center, so teachers and caregivers always have to think on their feet. When a fire broke out in a Florida daycare, Michelle Hammock was able to save the day by extinguishing it. Most of the time, someone would be praised for such a brave feat, but Hammock was given a pink slip. The daycare she worked for said she was let go because she left her room and children unattended while she was putting out the fire, and apparently saving the children's lives is unacceptable. You're basically telling me that saving people's lives is wrong. If I was walking down the street with a friend and some guy tells me, hand me your wallets, do I? Do you just want me to run away and let him get shot? Like, okay, this should be the last one. TMI Facebook pic. Technology can get the best of us, and this teacher went through everyone's worst Facebook nightmare. The football coach and teacher from Maine thought he was sending a photo to his girlfriend, but wound up posting a fully oh, nude God. photo of himself on his public profile. To make matters worse, he didn't even catch it right away. One of the parents of a football player he coached saw the picture and reported it. The teacher beat the school to the punch and decided to let himself go, and probably move to another state entirely. Do you agree with these teachers? Well, that's unfortunate. There, there is one incident. Now he didn't. Now this teacher didn't get fired, but it was dumb. So a little fun story before I end this video. When I was in high school, uh, senior, one of my teachers. I'm not gonna say his name. I'll just say I'll just call him Mr. M because his name starts with an M. Um, I had he was my history slash economics teacher. And he was a very cool guy. I didn't really talk to him that much, but he was he was nice. 
but I think it was somewhere in the second semester, I think it was like in April or maybe even in May, where he told a girl, I guess he, I guess he said a little joke, and she got overly pissed, like, and I would, and what's funny too is that it wasn't even like a, a harmful joke, it was just a simple small little joke, I think it was about her hair or something, but it wasn't even like, something that you should even be like, oh, like, it, it, it was, I, I don't remember what the joke was, but it was just a small little joke. And she got overly pissed. And the next day at school, everyone was talking about it. How she actually spread the word. I guess she um, reported it and everything. And all my classmates and other people that had them in different periods. And now, I didn't do anything. But like I heard that uh, some people joined up to like have a petition to not get him fired. Now, bear in mind, he didn't get fired. But now, I don't know what happened. But rumor has it, even to this day, that he did switch schools. That he is, a, is he, he's in a different school. I don't know if that's true or not. That's, that's another thing that people cannot take jokes anymore. That's the thing. Now, I mean, now, no, I'm not gonna do a rant. Normally, I would rant about you know everybody be, like taking everything out of context and everything, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, like, believe me, I want to so bad to get my thoughts on that. You know, every, like how the world is like offensive, basically. But no, I'm not gonna do that because um, you know, I'm I'm not gonna do that. So um, so yeah. So um, I mean, maybe in the future, I don't know, but. Yeah, and um, and now if you want to, if now if you want to, if now if you want to unsubscribe because, you know, like if you think everything is offensive, because I don't like not everything is offensive, but if you want to unsubscribe, then go right ahead. Then, um, so that's gonna that's gonna be this video. Well, let me know what you guys think, think of this. Have you had any like you know fun school stories that involve teachers getting fired for dumb reasons? All that stuff, all that good stuff. So yes, so I will probably have just one more reaction, and you know we'll see what else I do because I know I've been I've been doing a ton of reaction videos, so I'm gonna try to change this up, hopefully. So yeah, so that's gonna be this video up. So make sure you hit the make sure you hit the notification button, make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe for sure. And until then, Reckless Rich. S -s 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 -s